I still can't believe that I'm actually a doctor. Um, and so I really had no idea what to expect coming into grad school, coming from like a non-academic um, background. And so I'm guessing a lot of you have a lot of questions. And so the IUBMB is working with me. Um, they set up like a link where you can ask me questions. Um, so questions about grad school, about this whole process of about biochemistry, about anything appropriate. Please don't ask me how old I am. That's no one's business. And I'm so tired of getting asked that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so just, I guess my whole thing throughout this pathway has been to try to show the behind the scenes of grad school, um, so that to kind of make it less of a black box, black, black box, less intimidating, um, and really more welcoming, um, so that it doesn't just seem like this scary thing. Um, so when I first started grad school, like the end seems so so far away even like up until recently like this like actually becoming a doctor seems so so far away and like impossible but it, it's really not impossible um i mean of, of course i've had a lot of um privileges and that sort of thing that i totally am so grateful for like i've had a tremendous opportunities which is part of why I do what I do um, to try to give back to those who aren't as fortunate as I am um, and really just try to make science more accessible for everybody. Um, so even if you don't have access to a high quality lab and all of that sort of thing, you should still be able to enjoy and appreciate science um, and biochemistry. And so I really want to help people achieve their dreams, even if it's just for everything from like understanding what a molecule is to actually becoming a PhD. Um, and so with regards to the actual PhD process, like it's so crazy that I've been doing this whole blogging thing, like from the very beginning, um, all the way through to, um, almost the very end, um, and no way, I'm not planning to, like, stop, but, um, I, yeah, so I just want to help other people, and so if you have questions, um, submit them to that form, I think we'll probably close it at, like, the end of the month, so get your questions in by November 1st, um, 2021, and I will do some posts trying to answer your questions. Um, and because I don't, I had a lot of questions, and it's hard to find answers when you don't really have any sources of information to go to. So please send your questions through this link that um, the IUBMB set up. Um, so don't just like type them directly into the comments. I probably won't see them all and then they won't get into the big list of questions that I will be working through so please submit them um, through this Google form um, and also you might find a lot of the answers for things that you're looking for on my blog so I collate all my grad school related posts into this page um, so I set it up like that um, so yeah there's a lot of information on there that might have some answers that you're looking for Oh, and just a quick note, um, so I'm based out of the United States, um, and so a lot of the information I have is for, like, that sort of thing. Um, I don't know much about international applications and admissions and that sort of thing, so I recommend checking your, um, trying to get in touch with your local IUBMB, um, coordinator person, um, so the International Union for Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, um, who I'm a student ambassador for and I've been working with and they're helping me do all this questioning stuff. Um, so there'll be a better source of information for that. Also the information I have is like specific for biomedical science type programs, which is all that I like applied for. Um, so I know a little bit about some of the other fields, but not, not really. So some of the information I have uh, might not be directly applicable to you. But I'll try my best help. Okay. Now, um, one of the things that I didn't know going into grad school, like all the ton of other things that I didn't know going into grad school and going through grad school, because you really don't know what it's like until you're like actually done with it, pretty much, I think. Um, so is man like the crash after the defense is just like intense. 
Um, but I finally feel like I can take a couple days for self-care and like worked on this latch hook that I've been staring at in my corner for like four years because I felt too stressed to work on it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna spend uh, this weekend. And so, yeah, so it's, my brain's a little confused by trying to relax, but I'm taking it one step at a time and trying to just like decompress a little. Um, so thank you everyone who supported me and followed me and I hope I can continue to help give back.